Hi, I'm Paul Brody. We're back in my shop. Thank you for joining us. We're going to work on the tiger cub today. Mitch is behind the camera and I never forget about Mitch. We're going to work on the tiger cub and what I have done, I'll show you a little bit of what's new. Got a couple of brand new fins there. I'm going to show you a photo, actually two photos of what went on. That was not an easy job. I've got the copper plate under the fin and to get access into this fin, I actually had to hacksaw off this fin. There was nothing wrong with this fin, but that was so hard to get the tungsten in there. And I also had to shorten up the copper plate. After that all got filed up, I put another copper plate under there and I welded up the fin that I had previously hacksawed off. So it's looking fine now, but that was not easy. I've just got one fin left. This is the one right over top of the exhaust port. So I have to make a, a custom uh, a piece of copper that, to go in there. It's got to be really thin. Last one, and, and then the head goes out for valve seats. So that's some good pro progress. What we're doing today is we're going to work on the uh, on the brake cable, and I've got a bunch of stuff here. We've got to make ends, things like that. What I'm starting with is outer cable. Got a piece the right length, and I've also got inner cable, but the end is the wrong size. So we're going to make one out of out of brass. We're going to soft solder it on. And then we have to make all the end pieces. We need an end piece for each end. We're going to make a, a Delrin slider so that when the forks compress and the cable comes up, it can slide through the Delrin. Because we have one on the bike right now that's made out of, out of steel and it's got sharp edges. It does not want to slide. And we also have to make the bottom pieces. So there's a few little things going on. And then I want to, I think we'll have time, we're going to repack, no, not repack, we're going to pack the muffler with fiberglass. So that hasn't been done yet. So a couple things going on. Let's get started. <laughs> Got a nice light here. Thank you, Mike. I told Mitch I think I can get this whole cable done in an hour and a half. So there I am probably being optimistic again. But we know when the clock started. You don't. We'll be honest with you, okay? So this is the test. Oh, look at that. Goes right through. So perfect. There we go. We got brand new end. I did this before in a video, but that was a long time ago. So it's good to do it again. It'll refresh my memory. So what we want to do is to flare out the end. See, see it flaring? That's what we want. We want it to flare. And then we, we pull it down a little bit like that. Flux it up, solder. So we're gonna heat this up. Not too hot. We just want the silver to flow into the, into the actual cable and fill up that chamfer. There goes some salt. Oh, see that? That's it. That's all we do. And that won't come out. Oh yes, look at that. Okay, so the second thing we have to make is we need a, a piece that goes in there that's going to hold the cable, a ferrule. I think you call it a ferrule. Do you see how the cable won't go in there? So we need a piece that comes over here, steps down, and then goes into the, into the adjuster. So got some metal. Let's go to lathe.
that goes in like that, and that goes like that. So everything is good, because this wasn't working at all. You could take off the plastic and then put this inside, but that's Mickey Mouse doing it that way. Okay, let's go put this on the bike and I'll show you what's next. You see this here? That's gonna hold the cable, but I don't like it because it's got sharp edges and the cable isn't gonna move freely. So this is where we're at right now. We got one, two. So this is gonna be a, an arc like that. And then as the wheel moves up and down, this needs to slide in here. So that's where the Delrin comes in. We're gonna make a new one of these. It's gonna have a larger hole. The bolt's gonna get sunk into the Delrin and we're gonna make some kind of a shape. I'm not sure what, so. So this is what we have. We have a bolt that goes in and we have a socket which turns the bolt and it all fits in there. So the next thing to do is to make a hole here. Okay, we're doing an experiment here. This is Delrin. We got a, a 20 millimeter end mill with one broken flute that I just, it dropped. So we're just going to see what happens if I can plunge it right down. That seems to work pretty well. So that's the rough shape. It can be fine-tuned. Maybe, maybe this will be made a little smaller here. I don't know. But that'll, that, that's going to get us going right now. And it's black. It kind of blends in with the bike. I know it's not standard. It's not a restoration. We're just having fun. That's all. Okay, so the cable, see that? It can slide quite easily now. So what we have to do now is to make a piece to go into here. There we go. That's the that's the ferrule. There we go. So we just have to make these pieces now. That's all.
spray there off the off the tapping fluid. <laughs> Okay, so we just have to make the piece that goes on the bottom now that holds the cable. And then we'll have a front brake working. to start straight this way and this way looks okay I got a spiral point tap so I should be able to just go straight through okay that worked okay we're doing installation now we're gonna mock this up see how it works i haven't lubed the cable yes i know that but it's going to come apart and probably a few things will get fine-tuned like this this big delrin piece it'll be made a little smaller but you'll get the idea of what what's going on here so the cable fits in comes up like that we need a little bit of slack So, look at that, we have a break. So I told you at the start of this, we were gonna, I was gonna see if I can do it in an hour and a half and it actually took, well, it was two hours and 15 minutes. Way over budget, over time, over budget. That's the story of my life, basically. I always overly optimistic about how fast I think I can do something, so. You think I learned by this time? Okay, we're going to work on the on the silencer now. The muffler. We're going to pack it. See how that works. I have a bag here of exhaust packing. I've had this for quite a while. Like we're talking years, maybe even more years than that. So we'll see if we have enough. Now, one of the things I've been thinking about to tell you is that everybody tells me that you got to pack it tight. No one ever complains, you pack my exhaust too tight. I've never heard that. So we're going to see what we can do here. And I don't know how many pieces I have here. So let's look at the pipe. If I wrap it around this, it's got little, little bumps here on the seam. I can't slide it down there. So if I want to pack this really tight, I can't get it down and down in there. So what I've been thinking of is I'm going to cut a strip which is this long and that's going to get wound. And then what I'll do down here, I'll take some small bits and I'm going to, I'll take a wooden dowel or something like that and I'll pack them down there as much as I can. So that's my plan. And I think I'll cut strips off here, maybe about the same size as this, and that's what I'll use to jam down inside. You know, if there's an expert out there, you can share some insights. You know where the comments are. I know you know where the comments are. I'm so curious as to what this is actually going to sound like, this muffler.
Okay, I think this part of the muffler is pretty well packed. I don't think it wants to go down much more. So here's the six inch. It's gonna go here. Oh, it is a bit long. Okay, well, it'll just squish down. That's what I think. It's been a long time since I packed a muffler. Packed a muffler. Okay, that doesn't want to work like that, so we got to go around. Okay, so what that means is that we can put more and more on there. We need more six inch strips because this should be tight. Okay, we'll take off the tape here because the tape isn't going to help. There we go. Muffler packed. Seemed like an action-packed day. That's what it seems like to me. I don't know about you, but that's that's my perspective. So we did a brake cable on the front for the Tiger Cub, and we packed a muffler. So I have a good sense of accomplishment for that. Thank you for being in our shop. I hope you enjoyed our show. Mitch and I like coffees. If you buy us coffees, much appreciated. You take care, stay safe, see you next time.